All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Let me know, please, if you have any problem from your side. Uh, we know that Muslims always they say to us that they, as Muslims or Muhammadans, they worship one God and they are against worshiping idols. But in fact, Islam, all of it is about worshiping idols. And today we'll give you some examples. I choose this idol to show you how much deep the Islamic mythology in worshiping idols. All of us, we knew that some uh, <clears throat> companies, when they do a uh, sale for cars, they choose women wearing no skirt almost. And the, the, the purpose of this is to get attention of the men that if you get this car, you can get a girl like this. It's a deception. Allah, he did exactly the same. But he switched. If you want to get the girl, you have to get, uh, let us say, the purpose here now became, at the end of the day, it's the girl anyway. Why a Muslim he want to worship Allah? Is that because he really believe in Allah and he love Allah and he care for Allah? No, he care for legs, vagina, breast, a woman he even never met, and not only one woman, thousands of them. This is a very clear deception, which is nothing but worshiping idols. And the idol here is sex. A Muslim when I do jihad, you will see his uh, leader, he is not quoting for him that when you go to heaven, we will pray him together. He is quoting for him how beautiful the vagina you will get in heaven. Allah spent 1,000 years to soften the skin of those private parts. And that is making it clear that this man is not going to go and do jihad because he cared to meet Allah as much he care. Actually, he don't care even at all. He will not meet Allah anyway. Uh, like uh, according to the hadith, supposedly, uh, Allah, he will have a party every Friday and every Muslim will have his chair and then Allah will have competition of singing and they will sing three verses from the Quran or three chapters. The first one who will sing is uh, uh, David. The second one is Muhammad. And the third one is Allah. And for sure, Allah is going to be the winner. So, when the Muslim they say to you, we do not believe in worshipping idols. All your heaven is about idols. All your religion is about idols. Everything you believe in is idols. Then if we go and we search for the Kaaba, The one who is saying to me, uh, don't change the picture. I mean, your TV is full of those. Suddenly now we cannot see it. If you go and see the Muslim practice of a praying around a room, and that room contain a black stone. And the black stone is a holy stone. Isn't it this is what paganism is about? Kissing the stones, praying around the stones, going in a circle like ants. If this is not paganism, what is paganism? So Islam teach and promote two kind of being pagan, the pagan in earth and pagan in heaven. In heaven, you will be a pagan person who worship sex, penises, women, sex with the children. And we showed you before how Muslims, they claim and they believe that the heaven is nothing but a porn uh, mansion, like playboy porn. And there is an open uh, relationship for having sex with everybody, anyone you wish. And this is again nothing but worshiping idols 
somebody saying are you going to pick up my call today Abdul for sure we will take your call Abdul give me a second and we will get you ready to call us let us see how good you are are you going to pick up my call I'm sure we will take your call as if you are a person who can answer anyway we gave you we know you we let you call how many times before and you could not answer anything as usual do you want me to give you an example hmm? everything is recorded all your calls are recorded none of you Muslims have anything to answer you are pagan who worship idols let me see where is this guy uh, <clears throat> you know the funny about Muslims they call you when you are not on air and they call you when it's not time to talk like now if I say don't call me they start calling because they knew I'm not going to take the call if I say okay Muslims call me they will not call okay let's see what's your name in Skype Abdul Muhammad al Masri Muhammad al al Musa al Musari what is your name in Skype Give me your name in Skype so we can let you uh, call us. I'm waiting for you. You will notice right away that no Muslim really have an answer for anything and the Muslims are like the same as a Parut who repeat what he heard before. They say to you that you Christians, you worship a man. The fact it is them who worship a man not us we don't worship a man we don't believe that God is a man we believe God became a man he came to us as a man not a man became God it is you Muslims who take your religion from a man and if what he say oppose what Allah say you accept what he say against Allah It is you Muslims if somebody say the F word to Allah you forgive the person who said that if you repent but if you say the F word to Muhammad there is no repentance so you have to kill him because Muhammad is more important than Allah Allah himself he worked for the sake of Muhammad and for his testicles big numbers of verses and orders in Islam is made just to sweet the desire of sexual desire of Muhammad so who is the servant of who and who work for who? You're Allah, he worked for Muhammad. Until now, I'm waiting for your Skype, Abdul. You keep saying to me, you want to take my call, my call. What's what your Skype? Why you go? Why you going uh, dead now? You were saying, are you going to take my Skype? What is your Skype name? I will call you. What is your Skype name? You know, call me now. What is your Skype now name? <laughs> I mean, I know what to say. What is your Skype name? Let me guess. Your Skype name is Al Burak. Or maybe it is a woman have a butt of one mile size size. What's your Skype name? I will call you right now. You see, guys, call me, but he will not give me his Skype name. wait so you asking me for like you, know, you keep posting are you going to take my call now are you going to take all my call now and now you are now suddenly you do not know your skype name okay anyway take your time the black stone which is shaped in the shape of a vagina is nothing but inheritance of pagan belief before muhammad and muhammad he adopt the same belief A pagan following the pagan the Kaaba was exist before Muhammad and the pagan Arab according to Muslim themselves they worship the Kaaba and they won't go around the Kaaba and they kiss the black stone 
So Islam changed nothing. They were pagan. They're still pagan. And then Muhammad, he added to the paganism of the Arab, more paganism, which is sexuality and sex. But the Kaaba is still the Kaaba. It is nothing but a pagan six by six room used to be what without roof and the town next to the to Mecca they used to come and throw garbage from the top of the Kaaba inside the Kaaba anyone knows why why they use it through garbage inside the Kaaba the Kaaba was without a roof it was just four walls and it used not to be high like this because the neighbors who they have a Kaaba there was more than 26 Kaaba in the Arabian Peninsula so every town have a competition with the count next to them they want the people to come and do Hajj around the Kaaba which is their Kaaba not the Kaaba in Mecca the Kaaba in Mecca used to be without roof so the neighbor from the neighbor town they come and they throw garbage inside throw it over the wall inside the Kaaba so those who believe in this Kaaba they will not believe in it anymore because who will go if this Kaaba have God then why the God allow the garbage to be in it? And then after that, they decide to have a roof for it. And then when Muhammad became victorious, the Muslim they destroy all the other Kaaba and they left their own Kaaba. And by the way, all the reference you can find it in Islamic books. Somebody saying if you come to Somalia, you will become dead my friend in Somalia now We have a, a, a big number of USA army. So trust me. I'm the last one to be dead Actually in Somalia USA army every day is hunting some terrorist Sometimes some of them we make them shish kebab and some of them we make them potatoes So don't fall into the trap and the lies which they give it to you saying that Islam is against paganism if we ask a Muslim why you kiss a black stone if you remember once I went to a Muslim website and I said to uh, uh, in the chat like they have a chat uh, option I said uh, I have a question uh, the Prophet he kiss a black stone why he kiss a black stone he said because it's holy I said okay why it's holy he said because he kiss it <laughs> Stupidity versus stupidity. Why he kissed the black stone? Because it's holy. Okay, why it's holy? Because he kissed it. I mean, it's obvious what's wrong with you. And you tell me this religion, the follower of this religion is not, they are not smart. What's wrong with you? This is a very smart answer. And now if you ask any one, what is the purpose of kissing stones what they will say to you you will hear the most silly stupid answers ever you can imagine the black stone brother was sent from heaven brother okay so if a black stone came in from heaven we kiss it so what what do you what do you mean from heaven what does that mean what does that mean exactly The black stone is coming from heaven, so we have to kiss it. In fact, the Arab always, they used to worship any stone which look strange. Any stone, they think it's coming from the space. They think it is stone coming from the gods. And we can prove that easy. If we go in the hadith right now in the front of your eyes and search for some hadith um, we will be careful Sahih al-Bukhari we used to worship stones 
and when we find we found a better stone than the first one we would throw the first one and take the better one <laughs> Hey, hey, Muslim Muhammadan. Now you have the better stone. You have the black stone, brother. That is what Arab do. And this is your Islamic resource and your own documentation of history, which is not really accepted by me because history written by Muslims is full of uh, deceptions. I mean, they don't. Like uh, if a Muslim he will feel that this information if it's true information is going to hurt Islam He will never never write it But you know at that time the Muslim were victorious and they never thought that we are going to the time will come and Someone like me is going to get this and get them busted with their paganism So we used to worship a stone and then we find a better stone We throw the first one and then we replace it with the better one and that's exactly what happened with the black stone and even if they could not find a stone to worship, they milk a sheep. If we could not find a stone, then would collect some earth, i.e. soil, dirt, and they bring a sheep and milk that sheep over it. And they perform tawaf around the tawaf, the same as they do today. They go around the Kaaba. It's the same. Nothing changed. Pagan religion by the pagan Arab and Muhammad is a pagan man. And there's no doubt about that. What is the Abdul? He said he was going to call me. And then after that, Muhammad, he decided to take paganism to a better level, fantasy. Fantasy is very effective. You see, everything happened in the brain. Your pain, your joy, your excitement, even sexuality is nothing but a chemical in the brain. Everything is a chemical in the brain. And Muhammad, he decided to use a very old method. He is not the founder of it. It's a satanic method of temptation. Temptation is the best way to control the mind of anyone. You see, even today in businesses, I don't know how many of you live in America or in Western countries. In America here, we receive in the mail every day uh, some kind of advertising. A cable, uh, etc., a credit card, you know, they tempt you with certain things. Like, we will give you uh, 200 TV channels if you... Uh, but this is a temptation. It's not a necessity for your life. Is it really necessarily for my life? No. Is it necessarily for my life to buy a bag? Let us say you are a female, and now they are trying to tempt you to spend maybe what you save for six months to buy something made by a brand just because you like to show off. This is a temptation. This is actually a satanic temptation. You became enslaved by the temptation, and you cannot resist that temptation to the point you work like a donkey for six months and then you spend all the six months of hard work standing in your feet, going every day to work in winter, in summer, and then you pay a back, you, you pay all the money you save for a bag. Muhammad even is smarter than that. He will not even get you the bag, but he will take your money. He will make you dream about the bag. He promised you you will have it in heaven. And if you go to heaven, just let me know. What happened to you, Mahmoud al Musari? Why you don't why you are not calling me? Mahmoud al Musari. What happened to you? 
we asked you for your Skype and then now you did not give it to us I will give you an example for the temptation and the madness it's always good to use Muslims exposing Islam nobody exposes Islam better than Muslims Christian Prince he cannot do it actually it's the by the help of Allah and his messenger and his followers you say you, 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 the you said you said this nothing guy is, is a fraud sin in heaven huh nothing is sin in heaven thank you very much that's what I'm saying in the heaven you can have sex with the goat it's fine for you right not nothing sin there's no nothing sin you can sin. you yes. can have sex with your mother okay yes well, okay so you can have you are proud about having sex with your mother you and your father you will have sex with the same woman which is your mother anything Anything is fun. Everything comes from God in heaven. No problem. So in the heaven of Allah, you will have a threesome, you and your father and your mother in the bed. Okay. And you don't see that there's something wrong with that. What do you not understand about nothing is sin? Well, I, sin I, I'm just trying to understand, my friend. You see, sin. I'm not smart we like listen. you. We think it's sin due to our social okay. structure. If, if, that, if that can make, I'm not trying to insult, by the way. I'm not trying to insult. Don't take me wrong, please. You know, I, I have not. I don't know you. you. Okay. No, I'm not trying to insult. If Zach and Nick, he want to have sex with your sister, and you like your sister, so are you willing you and Zach and Nick to have share to share your sister together? In this case, Zach and Nick hmm. in heaven, hmm. he would have a situation in which he could. He could. So you and your sister and Zach and Nick in one bed. But it it wouldn't be my. It would be it wouldn't be my sister. Why not? In heaven. Think of it as anything can happen. Oh, anything can happen. So your sister, it's possible that you and Zach and Nick having sex with your sister at the same time. That's amazing pleasure. I mean, what I can say, this is beautiful, my friend. I'm really in touch. I've, I'm thinking now to convert to Islam. And can you tell me what is the wisdom behind this? Why? Why you, your sister and Zach and Nick and you in the... We have a Muslim, I think, trying to call us. Let us see this, Abdul. Yes, Abdul. Yes, you speaking to me? Yes, how are you? Speak louder, please. I am good. What up? Okay, so what do you think about the sexuality promises of your prophet in heaven? Of my prophet? Yeah, can you speak louder? Because I have a hard time to hear you. You don't hear me? Okay, now it's better. So what's your, what's your, what are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say, I mean, isn't it worshipping idols? To and please kiss make it clear. Okay, I'm making it clear. If kissing black stones, going around the stone, praying in the direction of a stone, and then uh, worshipping vagina and penises and sex in heaven, if this is not idolatry, what is idolatry? Has that adultery? Do you know what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I know what I'm saying. Are you? Uh, do you know what you are saying? It's not. It's not adultery, brother. Just by kissing a stone, you think it's adultery? So why you kiss a stone? Anybody, everybody can. No, anybody can kiss a stone. Do you realize that? No, oh, no, no. I don't kiss a stone. Do you? What if I pick up? If a stone is from God Himself, okay, it's a special stone. So, We're so what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? This guy? Brain, okay. What do you mean? The stone is from God. Like your God, He lay eggs and they are stones. No, brother. First of all, that's not a tease. First of all, that's what we no, I'm trying to understand. First of all, you are saying this is a stone from Somalia, God. We don't talk like this. My okay? friend, you are saying this is a stone from God. Isn't it everything we have from God? Isn't it the whole earth from God? Isn't it the whole yes, from God? Yes, God created the stone and chucked it down. Okay. Now, when God chucked it down, we're not going to pick up a random stone and kiss it. But we pick up this stone and we kiss it to show respect to God that this is from Him. So Allah says in the Quran, we said we gave it to Abraham himself, not in the Quran, but in the Hadith that Abraham got the rock. So what are you talking about? In the hadith it says Allah he gave the rock to Abraham? Yes, the rock came down from heaven and um to Abraham. Um, Ismail alayhi picked it off the floor. To Abraham. Ibrahim alayhi salam, yeah. Okay, can you show me the reference? Of the hadith? Yes. I have to search it up, but you went into where that okay, I will give you ten thousand years. <laughs> are you ex Muslim? Don't worry about me. I used to be a prophet one day, but I changed my mind. Ah, for Allah, mm -hmm. Baba, it's not good. Yeah, why not? I mean, here we go. I made a verse saying any woman she want to give her private part for me so I can have sex with her. 
Doesn't that make me Allah a prophet? Brother, of Allah, brother, listen to me very carefully. This is very dangerous what you are talking I about. I know. Are this you, is not are you internet going, are you fame. Kill, internet you, fame, now you got your fame. Are you going Don't to let me? this fame get to your head, okay, brother? Are, I know are you, you, you are going to kill me? Are you, are, you are, you are you making a threat? I think you are an ex-Muslim. Are you making a threat? And Allah says in the Quran, one thing. Allah says, four times. Are you making a If you leave your religion four times, after the fourth time, if you increase in disbelief, it is over for you. So I'm asking you now to turn back. That's all I'm saying. Let me let me search. Okay. Are you making a threat for me? You said this is dangerous. Huh? Are you making a threat to me? You said this is very dangerous. Yeah, what you are doing is very dangerous. So are you going to kill me? You are you are not teasing a normal human being. You are not teasing a you know like a slave of Allah like myself. You are teasing a prophet. You are teasing Allah himself. Well, not I, te I tease as many as I wish what he can do. Why your God cannot do anything about it? Huh? Why your God cannot do anything about it? I mean, let me show you what your God did. Your God. Listen, 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 listen. God, okay, why can you hold, 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 hold on? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. In the Quran, is a, in the Quran, there is a beautiful thing. Allah says. Allah says. Really? He will, for the disbelievers on the earth, he's gonna make the rope longer, so they can do whatever they wish. But then Allah says in another verse, He says, Not the truth. For disbelievers, no. Not the truth. That the time is short. Not the truth. You shall all return to me. Not the Enter truth. Right Not the truth. Here we go. Your God, He threatened the Christians specifically, the Christian and the Jews. To believe immediately in Muhammad before he erased their faces and this is a threat he made 1400 years ago and nothing happened to us trust me still I have my eyes Brother, forget, forget so, about the Christian no, views. This promise no, was made no, no, way How is also God, made to you today? This promise was just today. How come your God, he make a threat? If you don't believe in Muhammad now, I'm going to erase the details of your faces the same as I did to the Jews. I made them pigs and monkeys. And your God could not do it. What kind of God he make a threat but Brother, he cannot the, accomplish the Jews, it? The Jews were the Bani Israel, the children of Israel were turned into monkeys. Are you denying that? Are you doubting that? I'm denying for sure. Do you have a proof? <laughs> do you have proof of that the children of Israel were turned into apes? Yeah, Spark, do you have a proof? Spark, well, hold, hold on, huh? let me show everybody that this story is very stupid. The story they are saying that the Jews, they did fishing on Saturday, so Allah, he made them pigs and monkeys, correct? Yes. Okay, well Jews now, oh, I don't know no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not only now Jews are doing fishing on Saturday, they are doing gay festival in Saturday, lesbian festival in Saturday, and Allah is doing nothing about it. So why it's the okay. one, hold on, why the one who do fishing, Allah is willing just for fishing, just for fishing to feed his children, and Allah, he made them pig and monkey, and the one who is doing festival for gay in Saturday, okay. the one who okay. is doing... Okay, let so, me respond. Respond, go ahead. The Jews, the Bani Israel, I don't, I don't call them Jews, the Bani Israel, the children of Israel mm. were turned into um, apes. I don't know about monkeys, but they were, I mean pigs, but they were turned into apes. Mm. That is a 100% fact. Not all of them, some of them. Uh -huh. And Allah says in the Quran, mm. on the day of Saturday, they were turned into apes. Why? Because they fished, they, you know, they did fishing on the day of Saturday. So this is a 100% historical proven fact. They were not denying that. Oh. You know how this is proven? Well, it's very easy to prove, my friend. I can prove it to you. Because, you because the has story, proven? okay, hold on. The story in the front of us about those people proving that Allah is Satan. Why? Because if you see the story, it says that Allah, he made the fish appear to them only in Saturday. And he made yes, the fish disappear. You know what a test is. Okay, so well, this is not test. <laughs> this is not a you test. Know what a this test is not is, a brother. test. This is a stupidity. This is not a test. Because if you said brother, that, this is not no, stupid. No, no, this is, no, this no. is a very hard test. Hold on, hold on. If I told you, you, this is not, told you, you can't this go is to the not, mall on Saturday. Hold on, hold on. Um, I mean, on Friday. That is a stu I mean, on like a Monday, that's a very stupid hey, man, test. You know man, why? Man, man, because man, everybody, man, the most man, time, man, everybody want to go to the morning and Saturday. So the, mo the day I said don't go there is the hardest you test in this much. Saturday and Sunday. You, you talk too much. We can't talk at the same time. Hold your Okay, I, I respect okay. you, brother. So listen, listen. I like your name. It's very good. Okay, hold on. So now we have. But I'll be honest with you. Let you me talk, Somalia, man. brother. You Let me talk for the sake of the shin of Allah. Come on. Now listen. If I am yeah. God and I say to you, you don't eat in Saturday, sorry, you don't do anything in Saturday, that's mean I gave you the opportunity to make living for the rest of the week. Is that correct? Yes, brother. Okay. But those people, they are not given that opportunity. As you yes, see, they are. As you see, you know, as you see the fish, Allah, he made the fish appear to them only in Saturday. And they are fishermen. They are people who live in the sea. So they are fishermen and Allah, he said to them, go and don't do any work in Saturday. That's wonderful. Those people, if you read the story, you will see that those people, they've been forced Stop. to. I swear, Wallah, you have to have a Muslim mind. Listen, brother. Mm. First of all, the Allah told the Jews, I mean the Bani Israel, don't go fishing on Saturday. Is this mm. correct? Mm. Now, when 
on Saturday, Allah by himself, not natural because Allah had natural stuff, mm. but Allah made a lot of fish appear on Saturday. Mm. That does not mean there was no other fish on Monday, okay. Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, no, Sunday. No, no, let me, let me prove you that it's not true. Either you are uh, being an ignorant or you are... Okay, answer. first of all, I'm, ing I'm ignorant right no, now. Okay, so hold please, on. Okay, please. let me show you. Can we go and so, see the interpretation? Yes. Can we see the interpretation? Okay, what interpretation you like to see? Me? What interpretation is your favorite interpretation? Uh, Ibn Kathir, if you have. Ibn Kathir, that's wonderful. Guys, did he say Ibn that Kathir? Is, that okay. is the chef. Okay, yes, okay. Yes. he said Ibn Kathir. So you cannot say later, I don't accept Ibn Kathir. And Ibn no, Kathir no, no, I'm not going to deny Ibn Kathir, okay. alhamdulillah. Chapter 7, <laughs> verse 163, and we go to Ibn Kathir. Here we go, in front of your eyes. I Are can't you? see it. Uh, can't you look in the screen? Yes, I'm looking, I promise you. Okay. Do you see this is Ibn Kathir, right? And this is? No, um, I can't see anything. I only see your logo. Uh, why but, but I, I believe you, so read. No, no, I want you to look because we are, I, I want to make you read it yourself. Yeah, it's not here, it's not here. Oh, okay. But I promise you, I believe, I promise you 100%. All right. Okay, here we go. This is Ibn Kathir, and I'm going to uh, show the whole image, the whole page, so everybody can read. And you said, no, the fish come to them in other days, but only... Okay. But in Saturday, Allah, he made more fish come. Okay, let's see if this okay. is true. Okay. It says here. <clears throat> and asked him about the town that was by the sea, a village called Alaya, Ayala, between Median and a tour of Sinai. Okay, and then yes. he says, when they transgressed in the matter of the Sabbath, mean transgress in the Sabbath. Okay. When their fishes come to them openly in Sabbath, visible on the top of the water, according to Ibn Abbas, and did not come to them in the day that had no Sabbath. Do you see it? Okay. It's in the Quran, actually, in front of you. This is Quran. This is not even. This is this is this is Tafsir. Okay. No, no this is Quran. Okay. 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 This okay. Is Quran. Okay. So, I'm gonna come back so to as you see. It says that Allah, he forbid the fish from coming in Saturday and he make the fish come only in Saturday. But those people, they make living in, in, in a, from fishing. They have a family. They are okay. fishermen. So what kind Can of, what something? kind of a game, what, what kind of a funny game we have here? Saturday, okay. Saturday is, is not meant, is not meant that I'm going to make you hungry and then I will bring the fish for you in Saturday. And now you have okay. to obey me. This is not, this is not even fair. Could I respond? It's very funny. It's very stupid too. Okay. Could I respond brother? Okay. First of all, you have to realize as a Muslim, mm. when before I said to you that, you know, sat, the other days there was a little fish, but suddenly there was more fish, right? Mm. Now that you read that, to me, that verse to me, guess what happened? What happened? My point of view all goes to the bin. Do you understand that? Again, it goes one way, where? My the idea I had before of the verse mm. is in the bin now. Okay. And? As a Muslim, listen, we don't use our brain. If Allah contradicts our brain, we take our brain out of the sight. We take our brain out of the world. You understand? That's wonderful. We use Allah so, and Him. So what do you use? If you don't okay. use your brain, what do you use? What do you use? If you don't use your brain, if you, you if you just told me, we Muslims, we don't use our brain. Okay. Yes. So what do you if, use? If it contradicts to Allah. Hmm. So now your brain contradicts the stupidity of Allah. So you decide to throw your brain no, no, in the no. bin. Listen, for example, when I was younger, hmm. I would not agree with what is it called a father marrying the stepfather, the stepdaughter of his stepson. I mean, the um, wife of his stepson. You understand? Mm. But since the Quran allows it, that that logic goes to the bin. Ah, you understand? Okay, okay. So, but why, so now why, why, why the Quran? Why, why the Quran allowed it? With the okay, why the Quran allowed it? Marrying the wife of his stepson. Okay, why the Quran allowed it? What, the stepson? Yeah, why? I mean, the Arab they but, used to forbid it, and you yourself, you oh, say, you brother, listen, you first of all, have to realize something. Mm. The Arabs, we don't give a damn about their culture. The culture is my culture, is Somali culture. I'll tell you what's in the rubbish bin. Allah is the only one. So when Allah said you can marry the, your stepson's daughter, mm. one, a wife, 100 percent, wallahi, by Allah, it is allowed to marry. You know why? Let me mm. tell you something. You why, know why? why? Mm. He is not your real son. I want you to put that in your head, and you will agree that with me too. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. No matter how much you love him or but how much you love him, you are not Do you father. notice that Allah, he fabricated verses, which is Muhammad, just for the sake because he liked this woman? Is it true that the story says that Muhammad, he went to his own son and he saw her standing and he see her wearing see-through clothes and he said to her, uh, praise uh, be uh, to uh, Allah. Uh, huh? Huh? 
I've never heard of that. But if it's sahih, I 100% agree. My friend, agree. I, I don't, don't lie. You know, you know, I don't lie. I show everything I say. Do you want to show you the reference? I can show you. No, no, I don't want you. But if okay. it's 100% so listen, true, so listen, lie, so I will 100% you agree. You see, your me. God is Muhammad. Muhammad, he fabricates verses not because he wants you to marry your own son. Oh, because okay. he wants to marry okay, her. Okay. So now I've got your idea. And by so the you way, by the way he did not marry her. He did not marry what? her. Even Zainab, no, no, she said to him, please, hold on, Christian, Christian, let me ask you, let, me, Quran, let right? me ask you, let me ask you, in marriage in Islam, is it lawful for you to have a woman, you and her, like you go to a room and say, hey, you are my wife now, we can sleep together, or you have to have witnesses? Well, you have to get married with the imam. Uh, how you can get married? You have to have witnesses, right? Yeah. Okay. Your prophet did not get witnesses for Zainab. It's, it's a daughter because of you know, marriage. Okay, okay, okay. If that story is true, but do you know who the witness is? What do witness? Did you, you are telling me Allah is witness. Guys, okay, I'm going to have sex with the women right now, and Allah is my witness. I mean, this is the most funny thing. How come no, every Muslim? How come every Muslim? Hold on, you see, you, you see how your Muslims are worshiping Muhammad. You break the law, which you say this is the law of Islam. Muhammad is above the law. Okay, everybody yes. have to have a witness in case to want to have a marriage from a woman. But in case of Muhammad, all oh, what he need to do, he just take off her pants, he open her legs, and boom, boom. And supposedly, the one is watching is Allah, and he is the witness. Okay, Since when this is... Stop I, want to tell not, you I don't respect example, this. is garbage, my friend. Example, this is, you this are is not a prophet. I am not a prophet. You are Allah worship. bring so you, Aisha in so the So you just the admit, Muhammad, you just right? admit that you're a prophet is God. He make things as he wish. There's no need for him to, to have witnesses. And you say that. Why? He do not need witnesses. Why? He's not a Muslim. Could I respond? Yes, go. Listen, astaghfirullah. <laughs> brother, this is very, wallah, this is very new to me. I have to laugh a little bit. Mm. But, um, brother, listen, you are not talking to a human being. You are talking to a prophet. You are talking about a prophet of Allah. Mm. So? So everything that means, if Allah, look, the Prophet Sallallahu Allah bring Aisha in his dream on a plate. In a dish? She was on like, a silk. Okay, guys, silk. hold on, guys. Did you hear? Allah, he brought Aisha to Muhammad in a, in a dish. So Aisha, she was like a McDonald to Muhammad. Okay. And then he... No, ate. in a dream. In a dream, saying this is the woman yeah, you in have a to dream, marry. In a dish. Okay. And he and he decided to eat her alive. Stop. Oh, no, he became his her husband. Okay. But how he became her husband? She is a six years old girl. So what? So what do you mean? A guy, he's 54 years old. Why Allah, he made him see a dream? So now if I go, if I am a perverted man, and I see a dream having sex with the child, and then God will bring me that a child? Well, are you right now saying that you're not allowed to marry a six-year-old girl? For sure, this is this is six. She is six years old. Do you know what six years old means? Well, love, bro, this is very this is very funny. What do you mean you're not allowed to marry a nine, six-year-old girl? This is allowed. Why is allowed? Just because your prophet did it? No, because Allah made... Listen, a girl, hmm. when she reaches puberty, it is very much allowed to marry now. Okay, let me ask you. Can you show me where Allah, he said to Muhammad, you can marry a six years old girl? No, it's in hadith. Okay, can you show me where he says you can marry six years old? Brother, I promise you, you know this too. No, you see, you know nothing. And you are... No, I'm searching it okay. up. I'm searching it up. Okay, here we go. I, I show you like Muhammad, he did marry her when she was six and you agreed. Okay, now what and is he, the... What and is he the... cost him to the marriage Listen, nine. No, no, no. He was having sexual relationship with, with, with her since she was six. By the nine, he had intercourse. No, 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 at nine, he, he, yes. he did everything with her. Even the, no, he married her. It says he married her. He did not engage to her. Do you know what married her to mean? Marriage, yes, she became his contract. wife. Okay. So marriage, she became a wife, but he did not have sexual intercourse until, according to your Muslim resource, that until she is nine. So between six to nine, he was putting his dude between her legs. He was no, masturbating. Six, when she was six, he agreed on the marriage and nine they consummated the marriage meaning they hold on, were hold on. What they he, did everything what he agreed upon he was, the marriage she is already his wife married. okay read with me did she say that he he engaged to me because if he did not marry her it's mean he did not marry her it doesn't say that he said the prophet married her when she was six years old and then he have intercourse it doesn't say you see it says consummated this is not a true in arabic it says which means he push it inside her when she have the age of nine. What? Well, he, well, he slept says, with her. What, what? He slept with her. Yes, he slept with her when she was nine so years what? old. That's his wife, brother. Okay. Well, okay. Hold on. But this is me and Muhammad. He how? What do you mean? This is his wife. Okay. What? What he wants from a child? What is the purpose of having a child in your bed? She's nine years old. 
She is six years old. He married her at six the age of six. Six old. He married her. Okay, Nine yeah, years old. He, yeah, no, he she, did whatever has been done to his wife. What is wrong with that? That's his wife. Okay. Do you have a problem with this? Hold on, hold on. Yes, you have a problem. Are you? Let me let me ask you. Did you marry a six a six years old girl before? Me? No, I'm too young. Okay. If somebody uh, he came and you have a daughter, with my respect to your family, and he said, "I want to do nikah to your your daughter. She is six years old." Do you agree? And she reached puberty. Would she read the property? Uh, Aisha, she did not. I can show you the reference at the age of 14. No, brother, six years old, they don't reach puberty. When she was nine, if my daughter reaches puberty, nine years old, and a man <laughs> came friend, to me, no matter okay, whatever what his age, if I show you, what if I, what if, if I, he come to me and say, can I, I can marry show her? You, you stop, allowed, brother, stop. Allowed, even this is, a, first of all, I never, heard, I never heard, I never, I never, I never heard of a girl at the age of six, she can, she can have her menses. I never heard of this. Secondly, I don't think you have Okay, hold on. Secondly, Aisha, according to your Islamic books, and I can show you the reference. She have her menses first time at the age of uh, of, of fourteen. Huh? At the age she of fourteen. At the age of fourteen, Aisha. She had her menses at the age of fourteen. So what? Six years old. What are you talking about, brother? Let me. I don't think you believe this, but let me make it very clear to you. Mm. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He married Aisha at six. Mm. He continued the marriage at nine years old. Meaning he did everything a husband does with his wife at nine years old, mm. and according to Islam, there is no problem with it. According to me, obviously, there is no problem with it, and I can't believe you have a problem with a wife and a husband doing whatever they do. If this is a problem you have, I don't know what else gives you doubts. Wallah al okay, is very let funny. Me, let me if ask you, you have a problem with a husband okay, and a wife on, hold sleeping on. together okay. and having hold, fun, hold on, hold on, hold on, making pleasure that Allah allows them to. What, what about, is your problem? What about having sex with your daughter if she is not a daughter from a daughter from, from marriage? <laughs> What is this? La ilaha illallah. What? Okay, what is this problem? This is what? haram. Haram? What if I show yes. you? What if I show you this is not haram? What you would do? <laughs> Please show me. Okay, here we go. okay, hold on, guys. I, I will lie. To be honest, I can't see your screen. I swear to okay, God. Okay, no problem. I will make you hear it. This is your friend from Morocco. This is your friend from, this is your friend from, from Morocco. My friend, that's this it. I got you. Okay, this is your friend If from somebody Morocco. wished to have sex with his mother in the heaven. Hold on, not this one. Hold on, let me give you the other one. This is your friend from Morocco. He's a Muslim. He's defending Islam, and he said well, clearly, my, my brother, not my friend, my brother. He's your brother, your brother. Okay, he's your brother. No problem. Okay, let's see. Uh huh. All right. I, I got this movie before. No uh, matter what. No matter. What. Okay. Can you just explain what he said? Listen. You speak Arabic. You are Morocco. You are Morocco. Okay. I believe you. If he explained to me, listen, what he listen said. my friend, he is going to read and he is going to tell you, and you will see it in front of you on the screen. And I'm showing on the screen how it says you can have sex with your daughter if she is a daughter from adultery. Listen, he will answer. And he's a Moroccan. He speaks Arabic. And his name is Muhammad Abdul Abdullah Abdul Abdul Hakim Abdullah. You know, I mean, he have many. All of this to read. This is just four lines. When I show it to him, this is not a habit. This is just uh, interpretation. Uh, interpretation. Okay, it says you can have sex with your daughter if she is daughter from adultery. Why? Why you Muslim believe in that? Are you talking to me? No, we are listening to that. Read, brother. Read, read in Arabic. Read. Let us hear your your Arabic reading. I want to. I, I like. I like Moroccan when they read Arabic. Go ahead. وقال له تعالى فجعله الله. We have an amazing book teaching us that if I have a daughter, she is not my the daughter of my wife, but she is my daughter. I can have sex with her too. That's amazing, brother. Brother, are you talking to me? My friend, I'm playing. This is good interpretation. I'm I'm yes, playing a recording with your Moroccan brother, and he saw it and he read it, and this is what it says in your Islamic. Tradition and belief. what did you say? Can you say? Can you read it? It says if story. you have a daughter. It, it says if you have a daughter and she is not a she is not a daughter from marriage, according yep. to the most accurate opinion of Islam and the scholars of Islam, she is lawful for you to have sex with her and her mother, because according so to are Islam. So you saying? Are you saying you not your daughter in marriage? Meaning you did um adultery? If you did adultery, yes, and they and have, you have a, a daughter, and you have a daughter from that woman who you slept with her. You can still have sex with her, your daughter, because according to Islam, she is not considered to be your daughter. The Quran. Brother, listen, I can. I don't even have to read anything. This is one hundred percent wrong. You know why? Hmm. 
القران على اساس ام 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 فبيرن فور يو اي يو دور از يور سانز اوف يور دوت القران سيز نو 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 يس ذا قران سيز از فوربيدن فور يو تو هاف سكس وذ يور دوتر بس شي از يو سي شي از نوت كونسيدر ا دوتر شي از كونسيدر ا دوتر نو نو ا دوتر ان اسلام از ا دوتر وجعلناه نسبا وصهرا يو مسلم يو هاف نو ايديا وات اسلام از اباوت وجعلناه نسبا وصهرا لا 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 اي كان اي كان ايفن بروف تو يو واي اي كان بروف تو يو اوكي اي هاف ات ان فرونت اوف مي ان ذا سكرين ذس از يور سكولرز اكسبلينينغ ذس از نوت مي Don't tell me I want okay. to prove it to you. I prove it already. It's in the front of you. It says there. ولذلك لم يدخل تحت قوله حرمت عليكم أمهاتكم وبناتكم النساء. Chapter four, verse number twenty-three. Because <تصفيق> listen, because بنته من الزنا لأنها ليست ببنت له في أصح القولين علماءنا وأصح القولين في الدين. Let me translate. So because of this, she is not considered under the chapter four, verse number twenty-three, where it says it's forbidden for you, your mother and your daughter, because she is not to be considered a daughter for him according to the most accurate scholars in the religion, and because of that, he it is it is lawful for him to have sex with the daughter and with the mother in the front of your eyes. Don't tell me I can prove it. I am the one who proved it. I have to research this, but brother, I wanna I wanna argue about you with one thing, please. Could I ask you one question? Sure. Okay. I want to ask you, since you do not believe in Allah, okay? Mm. Who do you think wrote the Quran? I just want to ask you that question. Please just answer me straight. Uh, the Quran is, uh, is collection of uh, stories, and some of it written by Waraka, some of it by Muhammad. The smart one written by Waraka, the stupid one written by Muhammad. Okay, okay. I want to. Okay, okay. In a very okay, you also. I believe myself that you don't believe what you are saying right now. You believe one hundred percent that the Quran is written by Muhammad. That's what I believe. I don't even think you believe. No, not all of it. No, no, not all of it. You believe Muhammad. No, 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 not all of it. You see, it's very easy to know that it's not written all of it by Muhammad. I will tell you how. Let us say because it is very. Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. Richard, you understand Arabic? All the, all the, all the. Let me talk, man. You ask me a question. Let me answer you. Okay. Okay. Christian prince, his English is not wonderful, correct? Because this is my yeah, Arabic. Okay, okay. So, if I now bring a book and I write it and then I change the cover and I say this is written by Shakespeare, everybody will laugh at me because there's no way Shakespeare will write such an English, <laughs> correct? Right. Okay. Okay. So this is the same story in the Quran. The Quran have the most stupid Arabic ever you can imagine, and there is no way it is written by God or God He made such a thing. And there is yeah, some, some verses, is verses in the Quran. Somalia? Some verses in the Quran. Hold on, let me answer. Language. Let me answer. You don't respect you because you don't you do not know Arabic. So how you can respect a language you do not know? And what the Arabic, even, what the, what the Arabic, Arabic, Arabic language have to do with Islam anyway? Arab. The Arabic, Arabic language, the language, of the, is the language are, of Allah. We are Arab before Allah. He came to you with the Arabic. What does have to do? And we are we are better than Allah in making Arabic. And let me show you something. You must believe that Muhammad received satanic verses, right? Huh? Muhammad received satanic verses. No, I don't believe that. So are you against the Quran? No, I know what you are talking about. But one hundred percent, I can make, I can disagree with them. But you know why? Why? Okay. For example, Allah says in the Quran, He says, "Shaitan, he, um, he, he, he put some, he tried to put some words into the words of Allah." Okay. He, he did not try. He put. Uh, uh, but 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 we did not allow him. Allah says we. we no, didn't, he did. He, no, didn't, he, did. he didn't says, succeed in no, his no, message. No, no, no. It says that after noon. Yeah, even if you read Ibn Kathir, but not Ibn Kathir in English. If you read Ibn Kathir in Arabic, I read it in Arabic. Okay, I can show it to you in Arabic. You will see that uh, 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 it says that Jibril came to him after noon. What 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 surah is it? And he said to him, "This is a chapter twenty-two, verse number fifty-two." So Ibn Kathir, he came. So sorry, uh, uh, Jibril came to Muhammad after noon, and he said to him, "What you did." The one what you said is not from Allah. I did not give you that. So he did. And this is why the verse in front of you confirming that it says that whatever shaitan he throw, not he will throw. Al-Qash shaitan. Okay. Okay. Let me read the verse. Hmm. Okay. This is the verse you're talking about. لِيَجْعَلَ مَا يُلْقِ الشَّيْطَانُ فِتْنَةً لِلَّذِينَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضٌ Huh? Hmm. Hmm. والقاسية قلوبهم وإن الظالمين لفي شق ولفي شقاط بعيد. Okay, brother. Let me now go to the translation of this verse. This is a very, ما شاء الله الحمد لله. والله الحمد لله. الله استورى عربي. It's very beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you speak Arabic? Let me tell you. Arabic is the number one language in the world. Do you speak Arabic or you are reading Arabic? 
We are reading Arabic. I don't speak inshallah. I'll speak so, soon. But inshallah, Allah, 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 They, they write for you letters to make it look sound like Arabic or sound, you sound like the word, but you do not know the language. Listen, bro, we will so learn why, the language. Why would it read for me in Arabic if you do not know Arabic? Are you trying to deceive me, to fool me, to make me believe that you know what you are reading? No, but you understand Arabic, so it makes sense. No problem, but why you are reading in Arabic if you do not know Arabic and how you can do that? It's a miracle, brother. It's not a miracle, it's stupidity. I can read for you now. I can, somebody can make write like I can write now in Chinese. Let me let me make some Chinese for you. Ching ho, ho. Okay, this is what Borsky said, but I do not know what he mean, brother. But you know the difference. You, what I just said is correct. Listen, listen. Okay, let us go here. It says in the front of you that Allah what? will take off what Shaitan he throw. Not he will take off what Shaitan he might throw. He did throw. Allah take off. What shaitan throw in the tongue of the prophet? Go ahead. Okay, the verse here says, let me read the verse for you, the one that's in front of me, okay? Mm. That he, so, he who he may make the shaitan, shaitan throw in a trial for those whose heart is a disease and those um, heart of heart. I don't know, I'm not very good at English, but uh, can you read the um, translation, please? It's in the front of us on the screen. It says, I can't. Well, I'm, I promise you, I can't say anything about that. Okay, what translation you like? What is the most favorite translation? 52, like? 52, whatever translation I you have, read it. Whatever, okay. It says, Never we send a messenger or a prophet before thee, but when he recited a message, Satan proposed, proposed in respect. And you know what that means? What does that mean? Propose means he like he proposed, like he like he tried. No, no, it says in Arabic. I don't know. This is the English in Arabic, and you, you claim that you read Arabic for me. It says Alqa Shaitan. You know what Alqa mean? Alqa, no, 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 Alqa no, no, mean no. he throw, he throw in his tongue, fi umniyatihi in his tongue. So Shaitan he throw in his tongue, and it does not to waste our time. There's a book. It's called the Book of Asbab al Nuzul. There's many Islamic books. We can read it from there and see what the Muslims they say about that, and we will see if this is a true or not. What do you think? Well, 100 percent. Okay, let us go. This is Brother Shaitan tried. I agree with you. No, 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 no. He did not try. He's he was successful. He was very successful. Yeah. So uh, uh and actually I actually I don't accept that Shaitan he tried because why Shaitan will try to throw in the mouth of Muhammad if everything in the Quran is from the mouth of Shaitan anyway. It doesn't make Stop. sense. I knew you were gonna say no, this. Hold on, hold on. But let me tell you why Muhammad he said that because in this case he was busted. He did bow down to the idols with the rest of the idol worshippers. And then people, they start saying, what kind of a prophet this guy, he say, in the front of us, he say he worship Allah alone. But then when he is with the disbelievers, the pagans, he say, and he worship their, their gods. Read with me. This is Tafsir Ajalalain. You heard of Ajalalain before, right? Um, Ajalalain, no, 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 no. You never heard no, of Ajalalain before? No, I've never heard. The only sheikh that I follow is Ibn Kathir. Why, and why, Al why a Jalalain you never heard of him before? How come? Yeah, Ibn Kathir, Allah blessed him. Uh, I thought, I th really, Ibn Kathir? Okay, so you accept Ibn Kathir? Ibn Kathir, 100%. Okay, let's go to Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir is the Somalian and, sheikh. And, and, and let me ask you, why Ibn Kathir in Arabic is totally different from Ibn Kathir in English? Do you have an idea? Why Ibn Kathir Arab in Arabic have tons of his stories not mentioned in Arabic in the English translation. Read with me here carefully. Okay, okay, it says here. Yeah, Al-Shaytani So when the Prophet was reciting the chapter of An-Najm and he arrived where it says, and by the way, your God here, he's writing the word manat wrong. So the prophet, the prophet okay. prostrated and they all prostrated. That's yes. what it and says. then it says, no, and then it says, and then a shaitan, hold on, فَأَلْقَ الشَّيْطَانِ So the shaitan, he threw, عَلَى yep. on his tongue, on his yep. tongue, تِلْكَ الْغَرَانِيقُ لَعِلَى الْعُلَى إِنَّ شَفَاعَتَهُنَ تُرْتَجَى So a shaitan, he threw in his tongue, that those, the daughters of Allah, their, their, uh, 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 their intercession is a must, and he recited that. And then the pagan they say, Qalu, 
ما ذكر الهتنا بخير قبل اليوم فسجد وسجدوا so and then hold on and then and, and then okay so so and they said they never he never mentioned our gods in such a praise before so he bowed down and they bowed down with him bow down to who to Allah and the three the daughters of uh, the three daughters of Allah he just said that the three daughters of Allah their intercession is a must what kind of a prophet he is he says such Allah. a thing could I ask you some could I tell you something okay I want you to read this one too this is translated but this is in Jalalain it says we did not send before any messenger Rasul this prophet he was been commanded to deliver a message or a prophet or Nabi one who has not been command has been com not been commanded to deliver anything but when he recite the scriptures shaitan cast not try cast into his recitation what is not from quran which those whom he the prophet had been sent would uh, find pleasing which means the, the the pagans the prophet had during the assembly of the men of Quraysh, after reciting the following verses from surat of an najm have you considered Allah and al uzza and Manad the third chapter 53 1 9 and to 20 he says and added as a result of shaitan casting them into his tongue without he the prophet being aware of the following words these are the flying crans and al gharaniq Allah and al uzza the daughters of allah and indeed their intercession is to be hoped for so then okay. the men, hold on, let us continue then the men of Quraysh were by delighted Jibreel however after informed the Prophet that Satan had cast into his tongue and he was he, he was agreed by it. so it is it is not it is not what you said that Satan he tried he did okay Can I say something now okay first of all I will not Allah alhamdulillah Allah has blessed you with a way of speaking very beautiful and eloquent first of all okay Second of all, do you think the Prophet of Allah is some kind of like angel or something? Do you think that Satan can, you know, touch him or get onto him? I'm listening. Continue talking. I'll give you. I'll give Say, you time to talk. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. There was a time that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was. Um, some people threw a magic on him. They did magic on him, and it worked. Mm. Rather, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, when he was in the cave and he got the message from thing, he wanted to jump off the thing because. He didn't know what he saw because he, he was a real from human where? being. Hold on. And he, last, he wanted Quran, to jump. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, Muhammad, huh? he wanted to jump from where your prophet? The mountain. Okay. Continue. Also, what he just experienced. Okay. Continue. Because he was a human being. Hmm. So even, even, okay, this is, I believe this was actually what you are saying. I believe this writing by Ibn, hmm. Ibn Kathir. First of all, this verse that you are talking about, Shaitan, hmm. it doesn't exist anymore in the world hmm. except in this writing. Mm -hmm. And fact, about the verse that you are talking about, this same verse, it's in the Quran today, mm -hmm. but it is saying, have you taken the, um, have you considered the um, Lat and Uzza and Manat? It's in another verse, but it's in a very different way. It is not worshiping them. It is not talking about daughters of Allah, nothing like that. So if Satan got into the mouth of Allah, Allah says what? We we have protected this Quran, so Satan can throw as much as rubbish he wants. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Satan, Satan, he's, Satan is the one that even tried to denounce Allah what in front of Allah. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. The Prophet said, this, this just proves that the Prophet is a Prophet. Are you done? Um, he, you are very good at speaking, so yes. Oh, <laughs> Allah, you are very good. Okay. Are, you, are you done? Yes. Okay. Now, guys, let us, let us hear what this uh, uh, friend here, he said to us. He said, the Prophet, anyone, anyway, he's a man. And because he's a man, he do things which is not right. As an example, he tried to throw himself from the top of the high mountain. No, he didn't try. He did not. He thought he he had a he had a normal thought like a normal human being like a source you know like a jump off the thing so, so but he, he didn't know what he experienced. But he, he, but he, he, did, thought but he did not try. He did not try. He did not go to the mountain and try to jump. No, he thought. You know what a thought is? Hmm. I, what I know is different. Do you want to show? For me? example, we are human beings. Are you a human being? My friend, my friend. This listen, is, listen, listen. Are you a human being? I don't know. I would, I need to check. I I am a human being. Mm. You are a human being. Don't tell me there is not a time in our life where we have thought of stupid stuff. Okay. Okay, my friend, your story it does not check in because here we go. This is Jibril. This is the story in Sahih al Bukhari saying that you are a prophet. He tried many times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains, and each time he tried to throw himself from the high mountain, Jibril appeared in front of him and he hold him from his panty and he say, Muhammad, don't do it. 
Don't do it, Muhammad. For sure, you are a prophet. So what you said to me is absolutely false. Read with me carefully, my friend. I, didn't uh, say, I just said the same thing that you're talking about. No, you did say you said he is. It's a thought, but he did not try. This is what you said, the, and I asked you twice. Brother, the prophet didn't actually jump. There is nothing that said he no, jumped. He you know what no, no, he tried. No, no, if he jumped, like he will be he dead. Hold on, man. The I asked you, did he try? Which means try to do it. You said it's only a thought. But this is not what happened. He, he said, he, if he, you're talking about try, just go into the top of the mountain. Is trying. If that's what you want to call try. Yes, my friend. If you go, if you if you do step into something, this is not a try no more. If I take a knife. Okay. So what? Okay. 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 Let's even say the Prophet Let's say even the Prophet of Allah. Let's say he even jumped off the mountain. Let's say this. Okay. No, that's another question. Why you? What is the problem? Why your prophet was trying to commit suicide, and you are the one who mentioned this. So what is the problem? He is a prophet. So prophet they tried to commit suicide. Oh, he is a human being brother. Do you understand what a human being no, is? I am a human being too, but I don't do that. Is, first, I, can, first of I all, can make sure first, right now first in my life all, I can swear by Allah that you yourself Hold on, isn't it your prophet? He says that the one who commits suicide by killing himself, Allah will send him to hellfire. Isn't it oh, um, the, the, the one the who, person who commits suicide is going to get in hellfire, whatever right. he commits so suicide? Is but the prophet go, being so, suicide. Are you, so are you saying you're to me, your prophet, he was thinking to go to hellfire? Brother, do you understand what you're talking about? This is the time the prophet became a prophet, the first time. Okay, why he want to commit suicide? Because he saw something that nobody had ever seen. Do you know what? I, no, <laughs> no, this is not what happened. You know what this is not what happened. Read with me carefully. This, care for this is not what. No, no, this is what happened. Read me carefully. What a Qabn al the one who was writing Quran for him, he died. And then Muhammad became so sad because it says in the front of us, the inspiration Stop. Read with me carefully. And okay. after a few days, Waraka died, and the divine inspiration was also paused for a while. And the prophet became so sad, as we have heard, that he intended several times, not only once, to throw himself from the top of the high mountains. And every time he went to do so, to the top of the mountain, in order to throw himself down, Jibreel would appear before him and say, O oh, Muhammad, you are indeed Allah messenger and in truth yes. where upon his heart would become quiet and he would come down and he would return home and then whenever again the period of coming inspiration used to become long he would do as before so you're a prophet doing that because what a kahidai and now he cannot find Quran and each okay. time he is, is out of Quran is this is Sahih, this is Sahih Bukhari. Here we go. This is the reference. Sahih Bukhari, hadith number 6982. Sahih Bukhari? Hadith number 6982. But it is Sahih, you are 100% sure. It is sure. Sahih Bukhari, yes. Okay. Hmm. If this is 100% Sahih, I can agree 100% okay. with you. Now, if we study, and anyone knows that people who commit suicide. I don't think you understand the mental, my, uh, mentalness of a Muslim brother. We agree everything with that is Sahih and with Allah. This is Allah the goes out the door when it's okay, no problem, no problem. But this is me that hadith. your prophet had mental issue, because a human being who been gifted with a healthy brain, he will not do that. So what if God he stops sending me messages? Brother, are you saying, are you saying no human being has ever thought of um, harming themselves on this earth? No, only the one who have mental illness or the lost hope, depression. Yes, yes, this, yes, is, yes, this is. So are you saying? Abdul, are you saying Abdul, he's this not, is, he is a subhuman or a mental human being? This is a depression sign. Why? Why? Are going a to okay. Why a prophet of God is suffering from such a thing, which is depression? You know, people who so do that. So why not? He is a Allah calls him a man. Allah calls him. He's a human being like you. Okay, so you kill yourself. The prophet about listen um, the prophet of Allah, before he died he came out to his people and he said all my people do not worship me like the jews um like the christians worship um, the messiah don't make me up on top of the human beings meaning i am just like you that's, i experience what that's you experience. a lie my friend. i feel what that's you feel i marry like that's you marry. a lie that's and a lie no? no that's a lie you're a prophet he said in the quran that allah said that you have to obey muhammad and then you obey allah so what do you mean don't worship me as the jew they worship listen, the rabbi if you do not obey if you don't know about the Prophet of Allah, mm -hmm. you are to me a person who is not, you know, you shouldn't lose a salam to me. Okay, hold on, okay, hold on, I will go with you. But you just said to me that the Prophet, when he tried to commit suicide, he was a crazy person, he's a human being. So how you say that we have to obey a crazy human who tried to commit suicide? What if he ordered us to commit suicide too? <laughs> Stop. Well, brother, listen, first of all, listen, listen very carefully to me, okay? Please, please try to listen. I'm listening. 
Okay, listen. Okay. The Prophet Allah, of Allah, he was a, a normal Bedouin. You know how the Arabs are. I know you guys. You yeah, have Bedouins. Have, you I, I am Bedouin. an Arab too. We have a lot so of flies. Somalis are Bedouins. Yeah. We are very yeah, talented. We are Bedouins. We have if, a lot of flies on our head. What does that have to do with the topic? Why? How, okay, listen. I'm how, you can, how you can obey a man? He just agreed that he tried to commit suicide many times. And you say to me, if you obey, if you obey Muhammad, you obey Allah. Here we go. The one we want to obey him is a crazy man. He want to commit suicide. Okay. If you obey Muhammad sallam, you have obeyed Allah one hundred percent. If you obey Allah, you have obeyed Muhammad sallam. My friend, how you obey a man? He tried to commit suicide. Obviously, he's mentally ill. So if okay, let's say a person was here, a mental person, and told me um, that he come, he tried to commit suicide. I said, and then he told me, Muhammad, do not ever lie. Am I gonna obey him? <laughs> well, here, okay, hold on. When Muhammad he also got you, stuck, he listen, got listen, stuck. Listen, listen, no, no, you, you are the one is stuck now. So you are oh, saying why? to me, you are saying to me, Muhammad he brought for you a verse saying Allah he said so. There is no proof that Allah said so. There is no proof that Allah is exist. And now he put himself first before Allah. Why he didn't there say? No hold there on, no hold on, like hold on, hold on. Do you see what the verse saying? It says the the one who obey Muhammad, he obey Allah, not the one who obey Allah obey Muhammad. Brother, did you just say there is no proof that Allah exists? For sure, there is no proof. You are Arab, brother. You are Arab. So what? You are the one that Allah chose yourself. You are the one the Prophet came no, out. No, no, he did not choose. He, did, he chose the pagan Arab before my grand grand grandfather. Yeah, I did Sheikh, not choose him. Yeah, okay, Isma, this is Isma, the guy Isma. of the black stone. Don't change the, don't change the topic Arab. now. We will, go, we, we will go to the Arab. We, we, will go to the, we will go to the Arab. And you are not an Arab. You are a Sumerian. Listen. Isma, it, yeah, it, Isma. Listen, listen. When you say Isma. to me, why Muhammad? He says, if you obey Muhammad, shouldn't he say, if you obey Allah, that's it? Why would why to be obey Muhammad? If Muhammad is a man, you are the one. What? You are the one who you, gave me. Brother, is, listen, is it him you, who gave me a listen, speech that Muhammad is just a human Allah being? Allah, you are not obeying Allah. That is one hundred percent. You are fact. the one who said to me, Muhammad is just a human being. He do mistakes, yeah. etc. So now, how we can say obey a mistake person, a crazy person who tried to commit suicide, who commits sin all over, and then whoever who obey the sin? Oh, I never said he committed sin. So are you saying he did not commit sin? The Prophet of Allah never committed sin. What if I show you the proof? Brother, you can show me 100% proof. Okay, what you will do if I show you? Know you know what? I, one thing I like about you, you are a proof person. You like bringing proof. It is Absolutely. Very good. Otherwise, it's, it's, it's a person. There's a lot of people out there that don't bring proof. Okay, and that okay, is very good. okay. The person who says something he cannot bring proof, it means he's lying. Right. Okay. Okay. But for us, we don't. Here we go. Chapter 48, verse number 2. It says, So may Allah forgive your past sin and the sin to come. So how you say to me, Muhammad never have a sin and never commit sin when the Quran saying Allah, he may forgive the past and the coming sin. This is Muhammad, the sick man, giving himself a license for previous sin and a future sin. Have you ever heard of a God? He give a license for a future sin and a previous sin? Yes. Okay, but you just said yes. This is Allah because He's Shaitan. He's trying to listen, tempt you. Listen, listen. Yes, He's Shaitan. He is saying to the, you, I know you saying as you much. Okay, Arabia, what this verse is saying. Hold even on. in Somali, even in Somali, we have the word them. Okay, we have the word listen, of listen. Okay, them. okay, them buka is a sin. So you're a prophet. Them is not a sin, brother. It doesn't no, have to be it a sin. A, it, it is a. It, okay, hold on. Do you want me to show you that the word sin is a them? When Allah he says it can mean sin. No, but it can no, also no, mean it's a mean mistake. only sin. No, not mistake. Them is a halab, halab. No, no, don't lie. Don't lie. Them in the Quran always come as a sin, and you can see it. It's appeared many times in the Quran. So Allah He punished them because of their them, which is their sin. So don't play games. And if if, okay. this, if this is a mistake, there's no need for forgiveness because how I can forgive you for a mistake? It's a mistake. Mistake is something you did not, in, you know, you did not do in, intentionally. So it's a mistake. There's no forgiveness needed here because, and as you see, it's me that Allah may forgive thee. Of the sin which in the past and the one to come, and here we find that you are saying to me you have to obey the man who shaitan cast in his tongue satanic verses. And now, how can I guarantee that the verse where it says that Allah will take the satanic verses from the Quran is not even made by Satan himself? Who is it made by? Shaitan. Because shaitan, because everybody now listen, 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 guys, listen, listen. He just admitted that yes, okay, shaitan he throw in the tongue of Muhammad. 
Muhammad, he so, tried to throw himself. Okay, 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 hold on, hold on, okay. The first that shaitan okay. throwing doesn't as exist long, anymore. As long, as and long. this just proves that Allah Abdul, and Muhammad Abdul, are true. Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. If shaitan was able to cast in the mouth of Muhammad once, why you trust even this verse to be not from shaitan? Because he can say, okay, whatever shaitan he throw, I will take it off. Okay, can you tell me what he take off? Bravo, Allah, you are. Okay, listen very, okay, listen very carefully to me. And those who are listening, listen very carefully to me, okay? Mm. Okay, listen very carefully. Mm. First of all, mm. if shaitan throws 300,000 verses in the Quran, if Allah takes it out, it doesn't exist anymore. You understand? It doesn't matter. What is the proof he took it off? Do you have Allah says in the Quran one thing? Allah hold says on, in the hold Quran. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Allah said in the Quran. Allah said in the Quran. Okay, Allah said in the Quran. How we know that Allah is said in the Quran if you just admitted that shaitan he cast in the mouth of Muhammad, maybe from the first verse okay, to the last I'm verse? I'm about to read the verse. Can I read it? Read it. Go ahead. But Allah says in the Quran, indeed, we have sent this book and indeed we shall protect it. Hmm. So, okay. end of story. Whatever shaitan said, that doesn't exist. Okay, to us. I want you to recite for me the chapter of a breastfeeding for adult. For a dog, mm. a dog, adult, 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 a man, a grown man. Yeah, like a human being, like yes, a big I, person. I, as long as the Quran is protected, I want you to recite for me the verses of a of a, of a breastfeeding for adult in the Quran. Yes, I want you to recite those know, verses. I don't know the verse. What the verse is it? It's, not, it's gone. You said to me the Quran is protected. Okay, what are you trying to say? I don't understand. I am saying to you, you just said to me that Allah, he said he will protect the Quran. Okay, where we can yes. find the breastfeeding for adult verses. Okay, listen, now uh, this is a very different topic. Okay, can I, can I say it? You go ahead, I'm asking you, go ahead. Okay, listen, brother. Also, Allah says in the Quran, listen, mm. if we want, we shall make you forget some part of the Quran mm. and we shall replace it with something that is better. Uh, okay, uh, we will go to that one, but this is not about forget. According to the Aisha, a god came and ate the Quran. So what? So who is? Are, are you saying to me you worship Allah or a goat? So here the one who <laughs> the one who made you for the one who made you for the one who made you for the Quran. Right now, listen hold to me very on, carefully. Hold on, hold okay? on. The hadith says in the front of us. Can you says, listen to me very carefully? No, please. listen, listen. The hadith in the front of us. Please, please, Aisha, please, Aisha please, she please, said. Please, hold please. on, I will give you time. Aisha, she said. The verse. I know you don't want me to say this. You know what I'm going to say. I will give you time. Just a second. Aisha, she said, the stoning, uh, the verse of stoning and the breast feeding for adult 10 times was revealed and the paper was under the, my pillow. When the messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death and the time sheep came and ate it. So it's not Quran, Allah who made you forget the Quran. It is the goat. Okay, could I say something? Go ahead. First of all, if there was, listen, if there is a verse about a stoning and breastfeeding mm. and the goat ate it, mm. So what? <laughs> I don't understand what you're trying to say. So well, what? Why? Okay. So, <laughs> so what is the okay, guys, the verse? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. So what? So, says, okay. So what? Huh? You are the one who said to me the Quran is protected, and now we find that a God it is protected. Allah says He will make the human beings forget it. What do you mean forget? Here we go. We did not forget it. Do you see Aisha forgetting that? No. Aisha, no. Aisha, the goat ate it. Abdul, no. The, uh, Aisha, she remembered them. Uh, Omar, he remembered them. They, they did not forget them. Here we go. No. It's Aisha. Okay, okay. Quran says something to you right now then. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When Aisha, Where is she the verse said, right now? Oh, Tell me in the world. Oh, oh, when Aisha, she said the verse of stone. It is forgotten, oh, brother. The verse doesn't exist no, anymore. No, it's not forgotten. When we say wait, the verse of the stoning and the breast feeding for adult ten time revealed, it means they did not forget about it. They remember it. Yes. So okay, Aisha, Aisha radhiallahu mm. anha is uh, the wife of the Prophet Ummuna. She's our mother. Okay, uh -huh. uh, we love her very much. Mm. But Aisha, um, what is it called? If she remembers, where is that verse today? Where it is? <laughs> you, see, you got stuck again. Where is the verse? Okay. What if I show it to you? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wallahi, you are a funny what guy. If show, what if I show it to and you? you know, the funny what, thing what is, I'm not even going to joke around. So you are saying to me, okay, you are let, 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 let's make it clear. You are saying to me that Allah, he sent the goat and he made it eat it, or the goat was working for Aisha, or, or, or the goat listen, was working listen, for Aisha. Listen, listen, listen. I'm not, I'm not saying, first of all, I'm not saying there is a verse of stoning and breastfeeding, okay? I don't know if the thing is sahih or not, okay? Hmm. Okay, but let's say 100% today, wallahi, it is proven 100% that this hadith is sahih. Mm. I want to ask you one thing. Mm. Where is the verse that she is talking about, radiyallahu anha, where is it today? You, it's, it's not exist, the Quran is corrupt. Oh, la ilaha illallah. You tell me where it you is. Guys, you are asking me, you are asking me, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I'm like, how, how do you say, how, how you say, hold on, how you say, you are the one who said to me, 
But uh-huh. he forgot the actual verse. Okay, so what the point of this? Why Allah make you forget a verse you need to practice? No, the verse is gone. I, yeah, the, okay. How you can practice? How you can practice? How you can practice? Okay, hold on, hold on, guys. Days, do not how you can practice? And then that thing, I just say on. people forgot about Look it. But later on, they said, "Oh, Muhammad, I remember him saying something about don't drink alcohol and they stop drinking alcohol." Is that a good thing? Look how stupid this religion. Allah, He made a law and He make you forget the law, but you need to practice the law. Have you ever heard of a stupid law like this? If the law need to be practiced, it is still active. Why Allah? What is the wisdom of Allah to make you forget the law you need? We have no for- Umar is just telling us the law. Where is the law? Read it for me. You are the one who said to me, show me the law. You are the one who he just, just said, said to me, don't forget no, the no, stony. No, no, okay, no, stony. But where is the law? Where is the word of Allah? Where is Allah? He said, do it. The, the, verse, is, the, verse, the verse is forgotten. If it ever how, existed, it is how forgotten. How and why? How and why? What the purpose? Where is the wisdom? If because Allah, Allah says we will bring something better. Okay. Did he bring something better? I don't know where the verse was about. So, but... <laughs> Okay, now we go back to the adult female. Yeah, Arab prince. Let me ask Arab you, prince. Abdul, Abdul, let me ask you. When you're a prophet, he ordered women and he gave her verses about the breastfeeding for adult. What is the wisdom of your prophet ordering women to give her nipples to a strange man? Well, do you mean out of the breast? <laughs> yes, out of her breast. Because if you read, the, uh, can you read the hadith to me, please? I don't know if it's sahih, wallah, but it, it is 100% sahih. It, it, it is. Uh, well, this is what you don't understand. I agree with you, it was 100% sahih. Okay. So what is the wisdom of ordering a woman? To can, you read it? can you show me it is 100%? Here clear. we go, here we go. The messenger of Allah, and this is Sahih Hadith. Messenger can of you Allah, show it? She's, I'm showing it on the screen. Here we go. You can see it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It says, I see in the face of Abu Hudayfa signs of disgust. This is your Islamic translation, not mine. On uh-huh. entering uh, uh, of Salim, okay, into our house, whereupon Allah Apostle said, suckle him. <laughs> she said, how I can suckle Bye. him, how I can suckle him, and he's a growing man. Okay. What do you mean, okay? Allah's messenger said? Suckle him, suckle the man. No, but what did Allah's messenger say at the end? Smile. He said, what? I know he is a growing man. Suckle him. Do you see? No, said, go down. Here we go. He said, Allah messenger, he said, I already know that he is a growing man. Here the translator but, says a young man. Um, uh, can you go down? Okay, Amr has made this addition, etc., and narration, blah 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 blah. And this guy, he died in the in the battle of uh, of Badr. So, how in the world you're a prophet ordering a decent Muslim woman to give her boobs to a man? Now go up. We go up. What do you want you to go up? Go down? Go up? Sahih. Go down. Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim. Where? Where? Sahih Muslim. Can you go up, please? It is up. Okay. Where, where is Sahih Muslim? Okay, the, the hadith is Sahih, 100%? Yes. Okay, what is the problem? You are the one who said to me, are you saying to me that the Prophet, he ordered women to give her breast to a stranger? I said, yes, he said, show me. And now you are saying okay, to the problem. Okay, first, do you know so, if I'm okay, no, 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 the problem, the problem uh, is, what the, what the, the, problem, problem, the problem is, if you are a Prophet is not a satanic man and teaching satanic ethic, how in the world he order you, with my respect to your wife, to give her nipples to a strange man? No, he's not a strange member that she raised him. What to raise him? Doesn't hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, Aisha, she did that to every Muslim when it entered upon her. Anyone when it no, entered upon wrong. Aisha. Okay, what if I show you the reference? If there is one hundred percent proof, brother, we agree. If there is no, Abdul, 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 okay. We are people of the Quran and Sunnah, so if there is one hundred percent proof, I, we agree. Even if they said, even if Allah or the Prophet said there is a dragon 
flying behind the blue sky. We agree 100% of Allah. This is another question. Did Aisha did practice breastfeeding for adult? So anyone want to interrupt her? I can't, see the, I can't see the hadith. I can't find the hadith for you. So what do you say if Aisha she did? I don't know. Let's okay. just see it. Okay. So Aisha. If she did, and it's 100% proof. Okay. So what? Okay. So, guys, so what? Okay. So what? So Aisha she did that. And in order anyone who want to enter upon her and now this is a clear proof that Muhammad is a satanic man because there is no oh. way a, a decent man will order women to give her boobs to a strange man who can enter upon you and that will make her like not to be shy yes, with the hadith. you are just talking now. okay let me show you the hate about I showed you the one about uh, let me and show why you. you are searching I want to okay, say something, hold please. on hold on okay hold on hold on let me show you that why you are searching I want to say one thing okay I'm searching for it hold on Okay, um, because you are, I am, I'm 100% guessing you are ex-Muslim. Just guessing, I don't know. Wallah, I don't know. I, I, am, I, am, uh, I am an ex-prophet. Okay, yeah. um, and I believe that you think Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wrote the Quran. That's what I 100% believe. Read the hadith in the front of me. Read it. Where? Yahya related to me. Nah, nah. I'm not very good at English. So can you please read it? As if you are good in Arabic too. I mean, you don't know Arabic. Ah, so yeah, from, 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 from Malik, from Naif, etc. From from from, he said that Aisha, Ummul Mu'minin, the mother of the believers, sent him away while he was being nurse to her sister. <laughs> so and then, so if you if you want, and he could not get into Aisha because she nursed him only three times. She had to do it ten times. You see, it's a Where? what are you talking about? Where is the age of read, this guy read, you are talking read. about? It's a man. This is a guy. He want to enter upon her. A child, he can so enter upon her. Where is the related that he's a man? Where do you he see is it? a man. He is a man. This is a man. He's a very well known. What? He, what is this, written? this is from the companion of the prophet. What are you talking about? This is an <laughs> adult man. Where is the thing in here? The age. I can't see any age. Okay, hold on, hold on. Why Aisha she need to suckle a child ten times? A child, you can suck on a child a hundred times but you, if you want. But a woman, a Muslim woman, she can see a child. He, she is not forbidden from seeing him alone. This is about a man who wanna enter upon her. Where is the age? Ab Abdul, what's wrong with you? I showed you a hadith where it says that the breastfeeding for adult, adult, that hadith adult. Was on Aisha. Yes, this one about Aisha. You have to. This one is Aisha, but there's no Abdul, age. Abdul, are you saying to me that Islamic women they cannot see a child? They cannot see a child. The Quran allowed you to see a child. Do you want to show you the verses? What's wrong with you? No, you can see a child. Why okay. can't you see so child? So why she need to do nursing for him ten times in order to see her? Because this is a man. But because he did only three times, he could not see her. Do you see? It says, because she did only three times nurse me. Well, I to be honest not, with you, I, have, I don't have that much knowledge in I could not go and stuff. see Aisha in because the Quran, Quran, Quran 100% I can argue with hold you about on. Quran. I could not go and see Aisha. But you can never say anything about on, the Quran. On, That's the only thing on, I know about on. you. Only Hadith. Well, who cares? The Hadith is Quran and the Quran is a Hadith and the Hadith is Quran. Stop lying. I'm showing you Brother, you are Arabic. I'm, I'm showing you, know you the authentic resource. And now here we discover that Muhammad obviously is a satanic man. There's no way. A person who have a little dignity, he will, order, he will order a believer woman to go and give her boobs to a stranger. Brother, you can give milk to a stranger if you want. What, what is wrong milk? with you? What milk? This is a man. This is a man. <laughs> so your wife now, if you, if your neighbor want to come to your house, your wife, she can take off her bra and give, her, give him her boob and you will not be upset? If somebody came to me and somebody told you that women they have always milk somebody told you that they have a faucet women they have milk only if they have babies i should never have a baby brother prince prince let me be honest with you i don't have that much knowledge about this kind of hadith you are very okay. knowledgeable so me, but us, i want to let us continue let us continue so, never talk about so look, what, look Why? what we discover look, look look what we discover we discover muhammad tried to commit suicide muhammad he liked to have sex with kids Muhammad, he is he, he, he receives well satanic verses. Well Hold on. Muhammad receives satanic verses and Allah, and Allah will take it out from the Quran. Muhammad ordered women to do things which is beyond stupidity and disgusting and it's not ethical. Muhammad, in the top of that, he made verses in the Quran saying any Muslim woman, she can give herself to the Prophet so he can if her. Is that true? Stop. Stop. Listen, I don't agree with anything. But listen, can I ask you one question, please? Go. Because all day you've been asking me questions, let's be honest, please. Mm. One question only. Go. Okay, my question is this. Please try to enter it before you didn't enter it. Mm. Did the Prophet write the Quran according to you? Not all of it. 
the stupid part yeah, of well, it, the stupid okay. part of it, written by Muhammad. Okay, 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 okay. Mm. You think some of it? Yeah. Okay, there is a verse in the Quran. Okay, you th- okay. Do you think Muhammad was? Let's be honest with you. Do you think Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam had like a mental problem? He is not only mental; he is satanic. Okay, 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 mm. okay. What about you? May Allah forgive or guide you. But listen, um, okay, if Muhammad. Okay, according to the report. Okay, so my, when Prophet Muhammad says, "Ya ayyuhan Nabi," oh Prophet, who is this? Who is Muhammad talking to? Muhammad, he's making verses, spe- speaking that somebody is speaking to him, right? Supposed no, to no, he says, "Ya ayyuhan Nabi," mm. oh Prophet of Allah. Who, who is Prophet? Who is the Prophet? Who is Muhammad talking to? Muhammad, he is speaking himself because this is a verse about <laughs> <a> Surah <laughs> Al-Tahrim. This, this, this is this is hold on. This is Surah Al-Tahrim. This is Surah. Hold on. Let me prove it to you. 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 In the chapter of Al-Tahrim, Muhammad he made this verse because he promised his wives will not have sex with women in his bed anymore. So he made a verse says, "Oh, are you Nabi? Why you are forbidding for yourself what Allah is lawful, made lawful for you?" Yeah, are you Nabi? You limit haram. Yeah, so you see, I know you Okay, so how Allah, how Allah, how Allah he says to him, how Allah he says to him, why you make unlawful for you which is lawful, which is sleeping with the slave in the bed of the wife? Is that lawful in Islam to sleep with the in the bed of the wife with the slave? No, brother, it is it is lawful to sleep with your slave. You don't know this one in the bed of the wife. And no, it's not a lawful. It's a lawful only according to the Quran to sleep. With no, the slave. no, brother, no, brother, no, no, no. We are not here. We are hold not on, hold on. Hold on. Let me teach you. Let we me believe you. in something. Let, called no, 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 no. Hold on. Let me teach you. A slave from war you can have sex with. A slave yes. what you buy you cannot or a gift. Muhammad was sleeping with Mary the Copt and she is not a capture of war. So therefore she is not lawful for him. And this is the challenge for you. Show me one verse in the Quran saying that you can have sex with a slave out of being a capture of war. Can you show me? The, 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 uh, the one you just read, uh, that, oh, that, that, why that, 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 no, that, that, no show me, no, no. How this is saying is this is lawful for you when the Quran says, Whatever you capture in war, those are slaves no, you capture. Listen, you just told me that he was sleeping with a maid, right? Yes, <laughs> and the verse is saying, Why are you saying no when I have made it lawful for you? Where he made it lawful for me. Show me because he just said, Yeah, no, you, no, 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 no. you, see, you see, when he said to him, Why you are doing that? It's mean already he made it lawful for him already. Where show me the verse where he said to him, I made it lawful for you before. Because if I say to you, Why you Ma, are... Malakat Aymanukum is the capture of from war. Don't be ignorant. It is not. No, yes. you can buy a slave. No, you can buy a slave, but this is not Malakat Aymanukum to have sex with. Malakat no, Aymanukum. but you can still sleep. Uh, you know what? Uh, you Abdul, can still Abdul, sleep. Abdul, listen, listen. Same time, same time. You just you are the one who mentioned to me this verse proving that Muhammad is a satanic man. First of all, no, oh, let, let me Allah, prove Allah. it to you. Let me prove it to you. If Muhammad is a good man. And he promised his wife. No, he's not only a good man. He is okay, perfect hold on, man. Hold on. Okay, he's a perfect man. A perfect man and who have you and Azam. A perfect man who have thirteen. Hold on. A perfect man who have thirteen wives. Why he is sleeping with the maid? Eleven wives. Thirteen. Okay, let me read the ayah. يا أيها النبي لم تحرم ما أحل الله لك تبت قي مرض مرضات مرضات أزواجك. Wallahu ghafuru rahim. Why are you are reading for me in Arabic and you just said you do not know Arabic? I mean, this is crazy. Why you are what, huh? why you are doing that? You don't know Arabic. You don't know what it's mean. So why you are you doing that? Okay, read for me now. No, because you understand. Says, I'm reading for you. Yeah, you do not know Arabic. I am the Arab. You are not. So don't read in Arabic if you do not know Arabic. This is funny. Now answer no, me. I, I can understand some Arabic. Why? Why, why the Prophet? Why, I don't know how why to speak the, Arabic. Why, the, why, why the Prophet having sex in the bed of his wife with the maid? You, if you have a maid, you. As a Muslim Somalian, you are going to have sex with your wife with your maid. If it is allowed in Islam, yes. Where it's allowed in Islam? Can you show me the reference? No, I'm, I'm telling you, if is it a, if it is allowed in Islam, I will have. But I don't know if it's allowed. Is in Islam, allowed? in Islam, you are allowed to kidnap a woman and rape her, not to have sex with the maid. I never no, saw you a verse can't in that. Kidnap a woman. Yes, you can kidnap Sophia. He kidnapped her. Juria, he kidnapped her. There, I can show no, you. No, 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 no. I know what you're going to say that. Me, but I I no. Okay, listen, listen. Ah. Okay, why the problem? <laughs> no, as, as you see here, as you see, as you see, as you see, hold on. As you, as you see, as you see, Salam, Salam, he say listen. there is a war on the day of judgment. Whoever steals a person and sells him like as a slave. Right, right, right. Isn't did Muhammad sell slaves? 
Did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sell slaves? Yes. Did he sell slaves? He had slaves. Yes, of course. Okay, but but you are the one who said if somebody is uh, sell a slave, Allah will judge him. How the, how's that? How no, is... steal, steal a slave. Steal. Ah, if you steal a goat, aha, uh -huh, this is my goat. This is not your goat. Okay, thank you. So Muhammad the he Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Muhammad listen, he buys slaves. There was a, there was a slave, slave that came to him, okay. and he said to this slave, "Okay, you can become my slave." Listen, and then listen, the owner listen, came running, am, and when the owner said, "Listen, this is my slave," he gave him two black slaves, okay. and he took the Arab slave. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. You are a Somalian, right? No. Nah. Okay. Why the most person Allah he hate is a black man? What do you mean? Stop. The, the most what person. Do do the most. The most person Allah he hate is a black man. Why? Why would Allah hate black man? When I'm asking you. I don't know what you're saying. I'm asking you why the most person Allah he hate is a black man, and you are an African man. How you accept that? What do you mean Allah hate? If Allah hates a black man, he hates a black man. What does that have to do with me? Why he hate? Why the most person he hate is a black man? Why is not a white man? If uh, if listen, the most Allah hate in the world is mm. Shaitan, right? Okay. Why he's black then? And Shaitan is black. Shaitan is a black. Why? What does that have to do with me? <clears throat> why is he black? Because Allah created him black. What do you mean? I don't understand. Mm. And, what are you trying to say? We're special. So, and, and, that black and, 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 like and Allah is white. Huh? Allah is white. Shaitan is black. I don't know about the Prophet Allah, Allah, I don't know how he looks, but Shaitan is, yes, he's black. What's wrong with that? I don't understand. And the Prophet is white. The Prophet is Arab white, yes. Yes, okay. But why Allah, he says, you, you just confirmed to me that Shaitan is black. And this was according to the Prophet What? He saw a black man walking by and he said, if you want to see how Shaitan looks, that's how he looks right there. No, not only this. I'm not talking about this, actually. I'm talking about different thing. Your God, your God, or your, your God, Muhammad, he said, that the most person Allah he hate is a black man. Why the most person who Allah he hate in this earth is a black man? If Allah hate the black man, what does that have to do with the black people? Why he is a black? What about the why? Why the most hateful person? <laughs> lie, 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 lie. Okay, Listen, hold, hold on, hold on. Okay. The so what, being what this by have to do? I'm, the no, I'm not talking what about does the that have to do with black people. You see, look, your prophet he hate the Ethiopian. Your your God he hate the Ethiopian he hate the African Shaitan. There is you, some there according, is some Somalians according, I hate some Ethiopians no, I hate no, some no, Arab no, I hate no, all no, that no, have to no, do with no, me. No, when he said that the most person Allah he hate is a black man, why he is mentioning the color? If it's not important the color, because he's a black man. What is that? What? Why he is a black man? Why it happened that Shaitan is a black? The most person Allah he hate is okay. a black. Okay, Allah says in the okay Quran respond for please. Go ahead. Allah says in the Quran, the worst of the disbelievers are the Bedouin Arabs. He says the Arabs. Mm. What does that have to do with anything? The Arab doesn't mean rubbish. But he don't hate them still. No, but Allah hates them because they're the worst disbelievers ever. No, no, no. Ever. You see, it's still, it's still the Arab. When he convert to Islam, Allah, he loved them. Yeah, but when... Uh, <laughs> Okay, yeah, so but those are Muslims. Arab convert to Islam. Hold on, I hold love on. him. Okay. Allah, I love him more than my own sister who is a Catholic. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. A very simple yeah. question. Is the black dog is the devil? <laughs> is the black dog is a devil? Say that is black. Yes. What is wrong with you? No, no. The black dog. The black dog. Is he a devil? What do you mean a devil? How can a dog be a devil? I don't know. You tell me. Is the black dog is a devil? If I see a black dog, is he? A devil? It's, yes, it's evil. Yes. What's wrong with evil? No, he's a devil. Is he a devil or he's just evil? Why? Why is evil? Because he's black. I don't know about me. Because he's black. Yeah. Is that because he's black? He's evil. Do you know what? Listen, but do you know what the? Um, I don't think you understand what. Um, um, what is it called? Allah is darkness and um, whiteness is two different things. Dark has always been evil. I want you to understand that, okay? Hmm. But this is about the black color of a skin, of a fur. No, it's not talking about human beings. Okay, no, it's talking about because a dog, a dog is it's the same as a human being. The animals. dog is the same as a human being. He's a creature. He have a blood like us. He have a skin. He have a color. So why the black dog is the devil? <laughs> Because it's evil, because it's—I don't understand what why? you think. The Prophet said, he's he, he is a devil, one hundred percent. He is devil. just a, a poor dog. Why we are judging a poor dog because of his color? Why we say a it's dog not, because it, he's a black? He is an evil, and he is the devil. Because I don't know. Because Allah says, I don't understand what you're trying to say. But you have no answer, right? Because this is this is no. Because I can give you an answer, but you no, will not accept my a, answer. This is a racist Arab. We are Arab. We are very racist, and everybody. No, knows no, no, brother, don't say this. Yes, we are racist. This is my people. You, you are not an Arab. Don't tell me who we are. 
We no, no, very, brother. I know your people more than you. People. And listen, you, otherwise you have to explain to me. Your people live with us. You have to explain to me why Some of the your black, tribes live no, with us. No, the Arab, they never look with respect to the to the black people. And you know that they are very Listen, racist. brother. They they, are very, well, listen, first of all, I want to ask you something. First of all, as Sumal and the uh, Habashi, hmm. they, where are don't change the topic. Why the black? Why the black dog? First of all, 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 first of why? I don't understand. He I've never heard stupid, of the hadith, but he the Prophet said it. It's one hundred percent true. Why? He is just a stupid dog. What your prophet have to do with the color of the black? Why always the black is evil for him? It's, it's a poor dog. They ask him, "What distinguish? What distinguish a yellow dog or red dog from a black dog?" He said, "The black dog is a devil." So what? <laughs> I don't understand. What do you mean? So what? Explain to me why. Why the red dog is a fine dog? Why the white? I don't dog know. What did, did the Prophet give because explanation? Because he is a racist. He is a filthy yeah, racist. Yeah, Wallahi, do not say this. Do not claim everybody who yes, says this black person. Yes, black person is yes. black person. Yes. Okay. Person let me ask racist. you. Let me ask you. Are you allowed as a Muslim to enter heaven as a black person, or Allah have to make you white? Me. Yeah. Do Allah need oh, to make you white? Inshallah, Allah will make me light. You know, light. No, or not like light. Nur? White. Don't lie. He will make you white. No, no, nur light. No, he will make you white. Do you want me to prove it? Not skin light, light. As in no, you become no, shiny no, and no, spirit. No, no, no. He will make you white. Okay, prove it, Baba. Here we go. You like Ibn Kathir? You said right. I'll, uh, yeah, Alhamdulillah. I like your proofs. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Chapter twenty-seven, the chapter of the ant. Mashallah, your Quran is like a zoo. All the animals are there. Chapter of the, the end, verse La number La 82, La Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Allah will send the beast, it's called a jassasa, and a jassasa will hit you in your nose. And if you are a believer, uh, the, uh, 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 he will make a white spot in your nose. And then the white spot will become spread over, will make you a white person. Read it carefully. And I, we, I don't know, I can't see anything. Read, it's, a, it's in the front of us. Hmm? Okay. Can you read from the beginning? Okay, it says, it will bring out the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon, and it will be no, no believer left without making a white spot on his face, which will spread as face shining white as result, shining white. And there will so be, what, brother, what are you on, talking on, about? On, on, yeah, yeah, we will see what. And then, no disbeliever left without making a black spot on his face, which will spread until his face is a black as a result. So according to your filthy racist God, you cannot enter heaven if you are a black person. Allah have to convert you to be white, otherwise you are not qualified. <laughs> Brother Wallah, you are talking so much stuff that is very funny. Listen, first of all, I don't understand what you're trying to say. Are you trying to say that Allah like hates black people or something? Not only he hid them, he, he believed he our, created, they Brother, are satanic. He created okay. them. How he created them? Didn't, didn't Allah create the black people to go to hell? La ilaha. Brother Adam is in heaven. Adam, Adam is not a white person. Is not a black person. He's a white person. Adam is a Adam is a black person. W where do you get this from? The the, the word Adam. Adam is, is the word mean man. Stop stop being stupid. No, Adam mean dark brother. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, show me the reference. I want to laugh with you. What the language? Yeah. I don't have the Arabic dictionary. You don't have it. My no, you cannot find it. It's, it's no, it doesn't. Brother, listen. listen I'm not listen. trying to say something to listen, you. Listen, 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 brother, I'm not trying to say he was black. Listen, 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 listen. Black. Stop, stop playing games, my friend. Here we go. Everybody no, laughing. Listen to this me, is your prophet. Prince, I, want you to read, I want you to read this hadith with me, please. Allah created from Adam the black and the white. And he okay. said that the white people, they will go to heaven and the black people will go to hell. Read the hadith for me and be ashamed of your cult leader. Okay, what is the, what are you reading? Um, Allah's message. This is Jam that at Turmudi, Hadith number thirty-eight, and this is your Islamic website, Al Ilm, and this is your translation. Allah Messenger, peace be upon him. Actually, it doesn't say that in Arabic. It says Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which means Allah pray on him, and salute him. Say, okay, 
Allah created Adam when he created him and he struck his right shoulder and from and they they are in, emitted from uh, from it white of spring as if they were white ants and he struck the left shoulder and they are emitted from it black of spring and they were like circle and then he said to those who emitted from the right shoulder for paradise and I don't mind and he said to those who emitted from the left shoulder they are for hell and I don't mind yes yeah, so what are you trying to say what I am saying it's not me I'm saying your prophet saying that your God saying that Allah created from the shoulder of Adam the right shoulder the white men and he decided they will go to heaven and he created the black people from the left shoulder and he said I go to hell and I don't mind La ilaha illallah, brother. This is the way you listen. Can I can I say something? Are you gonna listen? Don't to say please? something. Answer something. Say what? Oh, okay. What, what do you, what do you say about listen. your prophet saying such a? God? I want you to realize one thing first of all. Okay? Before okay. you realize, I want you to answer this. Don't skip it. What kind of yes, prophet? Yes, Allah is on the internet. Mm. First of all, I want you to realize one thing. Mm. Allah, I want you to realize dark, dark. The word dark has always black meaning. Dark black has always been evil. But and white meaning light has always been so, um, like so you are a black heavenized. so you are saying to me you are a black you are evil i am white i am a good man thank you very much <laughs> i was talking about that this is very stupid color, of you yeah. but look with me your god is saying he created them black he created the office spring no, black i want you said, to listen to me no you are, very no, no, you, you are avoiding the answer what uh, listen he created so, them. Brother, he created a human being. A listen, human. Listen, listen, listen. Very, we are talking very about a human being physically, not metaphorically. Physically, brother, you are not listening to me. 100%, oh, no, no, you have to answer. He created a human being. Those are offspring of Adam. They are yes. not metaphorical. So they are black, and he said, because they are black, they will go to hell. And the white one, they will go to heaven. Explain to us why the white of spring will go to heaven and the black of spring will go to hell. The mic is yours. Are you going to listen to me? I'm listening. Okay, listen, but I want you to realize, first of all, dark means bad, okay? Mm. Black means bad. Why? Because that's how the language, that's how Allah works So, so when, when you I, go to the so hellfire, when, when you so go when into I a, say, listen, listen, so listen, 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 very carefully, man. please. Mm. When you go in a hellfire, mm. it's not going to be light. Mm. <laughs> you understand? That's not true. That's false. Actually, in the hellfire, <laughs> there's more light. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, yes, yes. Listen, listen, first of all, when we say, let me show you how we say, let me show you how silly you are. Listen, when we talk about sorrow, how the we say hell, hold on, is darkened. hold on. Let me show you how silly you are. How you say in the hellfire, there's no light if it's fire, you idiot. No, you don't understand what I'm trying to say, brother. Are you listening to it's me? It's not dark. There's a fire there. Since when, when we have fire, we have darkness. There's no darkness there. Secondly, what does have to do with my topic? Darkness is good, brother. Listen, Abdul. Why the offspring who they are black will go to hell? Stop saying to me dark is symbolic of the yes, evil. We are I'm talking about a human being. Why a human dark being just is because he's a black? Good. So when Allah said the dark ones, he's talking about the evil ones are going to the hellfire. <laughs> he did not say the evil one. He says he hid the shoulder of Adam, and from there he, they are born the offspring. That's it. The they dark, are dark ones. Uh, Abdul, nice to meet you. Call me tomorrow. I, I have a headache because of you. I mean, look at this. Uh, this is stupidity. He will not answer. I'm sure. Isn't it obvious? What darkness? I mean, you're you're trying to avoid the disaster in front of you. Obviously, the black dog, he is a victim of the racism of the Arabic man Muhammad. We are Arab. We are racist, and I. This is why I don't associate with the Arab. Actually, they are very racist. I don't like to be with them, even the one who claimed that he is not. Why you are calling me back? Okay, because listen, please, you didn't let me finish. Please. Okay, are you going to answer or you are going to play the game? Well, of I, I am going okay. to answer so 100%. He, did he say offspring? Answer me about the offspring. Yes, Why yes, those offspring? offspring. Go, okay, go ahead. Okay, listen. Let's say I created black people and white people, okay? Mm. On this earth today. Mm. And I say to you, listen, the black children of that guy mm. are going to the hellfire mm. and his white children are going to the heaven fire. Mm. Um, to the heaven, okay? Hmm. Did that make me racist? Yes. What if the black people are horrible people, bad people? 
but you are saying that all black people are horrible people. That's what you are saying. No, all because the hadith does not say all no, of them. No, no, it says all the white people they will go to heaven and all the black people will go to hell. That's what it says. Don't stop lying. But but so, you do realize in heaven we will all be light, right? No, no, hold on, hold on. This is not the question. Here, why the all the black? He said the the black of spring they are born black and they go to hell. He didn't say some of them. He didn't say some of the white will go to heaven. He says the white of spring and they are born like white ants. I say go to heaven and I don't care. I don't mind. And then he said to the offspring which are born from the left shoulder, which is a black like circle, go to hell and I don't mind. So he made a decision just because of the yes. color. Why? So what, brother? Black people are going to go to hell. Is that a big problem to you? It is a big problem. Yes, I love the black people. Bro, brother, they are wonderful how is it a big problem? This is a there big is a lot fight. Of don't black call me again. You to go to the yes, I know. So no, I don't, I don't accept such a thing. Somebody saying to me that life on air. Shame on you. Shame on you. A shoe of a black person is better than your God. Since when people will go to hell because of their color, you idiot. There's bad people who they are white, there's bad people who they are black, and there's wonderful people who they are white, and there's wonderful people who they are black. And by the way, what happened to the Asian in the middle? Muhammad forget about them because he never saw one. This is disgusting. How dare you to say, do you have a problem that the black people will go to hell? This is the most disgusting cult ever. How dare you? I am a white man. I saw, I met a very wonderful black people. They are better to me than my family. Garbage in, garbage out. And as you see, they are a slave. They are a slave of this man. His name is Muhammad. Just because Muhammad, he says so. So what the problem? He doesn't see the problem. And the funny, he's African. You are a slave of Muhammad. You said to me that when Allah or Muhammad, he says something, we take our brain and we dump it in the bin. Guys, did he say that? Did we hear this guy saying that? He said that, right, in the beginning? We Muslims, if Allah or the Prophet says something, we take our brain and we dump it in the bin. And this is exactly what you are doing. And they have a fabricated sermon. They say the prophet, he have a sermon before he die. And if you search the reference, you will see that no Muslim accept those sermon. It's a fabricated story. This is why I am a Christian. Jesus says, love the world. For God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. Not the white. And the funny, the Muslim, they say, you are worshipping a white man. But yet we never saw in the Bible one phrase about white man. His name is Jesus. But if we go in the Hadith, we will see the Muslim flirting with the under arm of the Prophet because it was so white. The belly balm of the Prophet was so white. The, 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 the cheek of the Prophet was so white. And they are flirting all over with the white man. Muhammad. I cannot believe that a human being can be stupid that far and brainwashed. And the funny, I am not a black man, and he is a black man who is calling and saying that the black people will go to hell. Have you ever have, have, have heard something stupid and like 
observed more than this I am the white man and he is the black man and he is the one saying to me the black people will go to hell do you have a problem <laughs> anyway guys uh, I don't know what to say but today I'm very grateful that the Lord he sent us some Abduls to help us to expose the cult of Islam if you watch from the beginning you will notice that we discover today in a short conversation if we can call it short that Muhammad obviously is a sick man he have mental issues not only and I believe racism is is a very mental issue racism is a mental issue because in your mentality you have like a, a, an objection to accept a person because of his color he is he don't look like you and that is mental issue so you refuse to deal with him or you refuse to respect him just because he is not like you and that can be found by the way in a, with, within the white people or black people or even Asian racism is exist everywhere Chinese don't like Japanese Japanese don't like etc this is racism and based on mentality a mentality of illness if you are a person who is healthy in the brain you will not judge a human being based on his color try him first I have to be careful with everybody around me it doesn't matter if he's white or black because there is evil and there is good so I'm not going to assume that he is evil I'm not going to assume that he is good because of his color I will assume not I will do give the person a chance if he is good is good if he is bad is bad but to say that the black people they are evil and they will go to hell this is extremely sick cult and the funny they try to convert people who they are black to Islam and they lie to them and they say Islam brother love a black people you're right the black people will go to hell do you have a problem I could not believe it that somebody will say something to me if this is what you say in public what you will say in private you know what I mean guys if a Muslim saying that in public what he say in the private about black people Be aware of false teachers who come to you in a clothes of a sheep, but in fact they are wolves. And that is Muhammad. Poor, poor black dog, he is the devil. In which logic? In which religion? Which God he can teach such a thing? It's, a, it's just a stupid poor dog. It's a dog. Even the dog you made him evil and he is shaitan. It is just a stupid dog. Even the dog he did not, he is not saved from the evil of Muhammad. How in the world we can accept such a cult to be followed? Let me introduce to you, Mr. Devil. The black dog, which is, according to Muhammad, he is a shaitan. Look at this dog. Obviously, he is shaitan. Look, 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 look. He want to eat pizza. Shaitan, shaitan, cute shaitan. What in the hell this religion is about? It's just a stupid dog. Leave the dog alone. This is Shaitan. Nice to meet you, devil. I was waiting to see you all my life. He he talked to me. Uh. 
And the poor dog looking at me like, what? Huh? Who? What? How stupid this cult is! And by the way, not only he said the black dog is a devil, any animal who is black is a devil. I mean, sometimes you, you ask yourself, how stupid a human being can be? I mean, how far in stupidity a human being can be affected? Now, let me introduce to you a dog which is angel dog. This is an angel dog for the prophet because he is very white. Nice to meet you, angel. You're, you're white, you are lucky. The Muslims, they will not think you are the devil because look at you, you are white. <laughs> Shaitan is white, the angel are white, Allah is white, Muhammad is white, everybody is white, and the devil is black, and a human being who is black, they will go to hell according to this cult. And they asked the prophet, what, what the difference between a white dog or a yellow dog and a black dog? He said, the black dog is the devil. Yeah, right. I mean, I'm really convinced. Even Muhammad, he mentioned, that black dog is the same as a woman. Why? Because women is a devil too. If you remember, after the, uh, uh, you know, Muhammad, he mentioned the black dog is a devil, yes. But Muhammad, he mentioned that women are equal to dogs and they are satanic. Muhammad, he says, a woman, she come in the image of shaitan and she live in the image of shaitan. So Muhammad obviously he is teaching hate of gender, hate of color, hate of anything is not a man and not white man. Look at this. The women, any women, your mother, my your mother, my mother, your sister, my sister, your daughter, my daughter, any women, she advances in the shape of shaitan. And she Leave in the image of Shaitan. Have you ever heard of such a garbage like this? My friend. I encourage everybody to download this video and share it with your friend. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'm not going to keep you longer. The video is yours. I will keep it live on air for a few days. Please download it, all of you. So you can show everybody in this earth how filthy, how stupid this cult is. The Messiah, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. If you don't believe me, Go check history. All the black slaves which sold to the European, it was captured by the Muslims in North Africa. All of them. The European did not capture slaves. It was the Arab capturing the slave. And until now, nothing changed. This guy, he said he's from Somalia. Go and see what they do for a living. Libya is the first country USA have a war with it. Why? Because the Libyan, the Arab in Libya, they used to capture ships and ask for ransom or they enslaved them. 
nothing changed. This is a religion of slavery. But the danger about it, that the master himself is a slave of Allah. And he want to enslave you too. Muhammad, he said, that the best of mankind who do slavery, who bring a human being and the chain around their necks, It's a duty for a Muslim. The Quran says in chapter 3, verse 110, that Muslims are the best of mankind, which Islam is a fascist religion. Believe that you being a Muslim, you are better than anyone on earth, and the rest are a bunch of animals. We can put a chain around their necks. The verse, you are the true Muslims, are the best of ever raised for mankind, means the best of the people for the people, as being them, bringing, bringing them with the chain on their necks till they embrace Islam. This is Islam, my friend. And everything the Muslims, go on now and see how many Muslims, they will make a video against my video, but they cannot prove me wrong because it's not me who is saying what I just said. We heard them from their own mouth. Thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we go live on air, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like to learn more, you can get my books and you can learn. The truth, my friend, will set you free. And this is the wisdom of my Lord. And there's no wisdom better than his wisdom. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.